<coughs> first things first, gotta do it. Oh, I almost poured my soda on my microphone trying to hear the so <sighs> Gotta drink my Dr. Pepper, cause that is Okabe's signature drink. <coughs> anyway. What is going on guys? My name is Zora and welcome back to Steins Gate Elite. In the last episode, I believe we were joined by Michael SK and we hacked into CERN and learned that they may or may not have hurt people, you know, made them spill the ketchup, drunk the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Uh, other words, uh, the- Anyway, so, I am live streaming this episode. If you would like to be here when I live stream videos in the future, either join the Discord in the description, or go to twitch.tv slash my name is Aura. Anyway, <laughs> so, let's just jump into it. Okay, so, I descend the stairs and step out onto the street. Only for a bicycle to barrel towards me from the direction of... Only for a bicycle to barrel towards me from the direction of Kurimebashi, Dori. And dramatically skid to a stop right in front of me. Hiya, Okabe Rintaro. Pretty nice technique there. I always laugh at the smug ass faces. Uh, 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 Su Amane Suzaha is one of the smuggest... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but wait, like, I love Suzaha. Like, I love her character. Wait till I play Steins Gate Zero, though. That opinion changes drastically. Bicycles are fun, aren't they? I'd never ridden one before coming here. You'd never ridden a bicycle? Nope. I had ridden motorcycles before, though. Lol, this one's got handlebars. <laughs> It's like watching an episode of the anime. Yep, I can't help but be restless. Every time my mind almost settles, it's filled with thoughts of the curious microwave experiments at the Future Gadget Laboratory. Going to work now? Yep, the brawn tube workshop sh shutters are open, but the shop itself never opens until around 11 or 12. I don't know exactly when, it seems to change with Mr. Braun's mood. That's perfect, there's something we need to talk about. Uh, but I need to get the shop ready for business. Just what does this crumbly old brawn tube workshop need to get ready? Nothing really. Jeez, I just mindlessly sweep in front of the shop. If I clean inside, the boss gets angry. Everything is where it needs to be, he says. Just imagine being hired as a, like, as like a, a, a cleaner, but they don't want you to clean anything. <laughs> just what? I am hiring you to clean my abode. Okay, so, uh, what do you want me to clean? Nothing. Sometimes when you speak, you sound like a stoner. That's fair. So he's paying her to not clean? So hear me out then. Does it have to be right now? My glare is not very effective. She doesn't falter at all. Then go ahead, but keep it short, okay? Where is the IBN 5100? No until yet. But by the way you talked yesterday, it sure sounded like you knew. No, I know someone who knows. Then take me to them. I won't take no for an answer. Refuse and I'll show you a living hell. I can't. Come on, I even said I'd show you a living hell. I can't introduce you even if I wanted to. What do you mean? Don't tell me they're an imaginary. They've been dead for years. That went from zero to a hundred very fast. Ah. Uh... I'm sorry. Nah, it's okay. Anyway, there's nothing I can tell you. Honestly, I'm hoping you can tell me something. Again, the smug ass faces. Hey, part timer, it's only your third day and you're late. Uh, sorry boss. The streets were a little crowded this morning. If you're not gonna take this seriously, I can always give you the boot. Here? As for you, Okabe, don't you lay a finger on my part-timer. Aren't you the lecherous one here, Mr. Braun? I would normally look up how to pronounce that, but, you know, I'm not gonna- Anyway, why you just try saying something like that in front of Nye. I'll murder you. Gotta keep my honor as a father. Besides, I ain't got no use for a skinny kid like her. What was that? Take that back, boss. What, you mad? I'm not a kid. I'm a warrior. Huh? What are you talking about? I like that look in your eye, you part-time warrior. They shine with the radiance of the beast unseen in modern men. Never forget those eyes of yours, and you shall surely change class from part-time warrior to true warrior. But I'm already a warrior. <laughs> 
Kids, stay diligent in your training, and you shall have a place at my side on the field of Ragnarok. Ragnarok? <laughs> Uh, the language is just so different. It it makes me laugh sometimes. Uh, okay. Ragnarok? What's that? The final battle against CERN. You've got something like that planned? Count me in if you do, but I've never heard of it. Of course you haven't. This is the first time I've revealed it, for I shall be the one to initiate Ragnarok, and the world shall be reborn. Wow, you sure are brave, Okabe Rintoro. You'll probably fail, but I like your spirit. I wish my comrades were as spirited as you are. Apparently, Suzuha has comrades. I'd like her to introduce me. That way, I can form my personal army, the Phoenix Crusaders. Wait a sec. Why does she assume I'll fail at Ragnarok? Looks like I need to instill the fear of Hyoin Kyoma into this girl. Why does my store attract nothing but weirdos? Damn. Whatever, part-timer. Just come inside. Uh, coming. Later, Okabe Rintoro. She has no hope. Uh, new message. New message, who this? I didn't say anything about Akiba. Nya, if you want to learn the truth of the world, then come to me at once, nya. It's time for the prelude to ruin the grand banquet to begin. It's from Ferris. There's no way I can combat this. You got mail. All right. I like the phone animations in this one. They're very creative. Like, the original was creative. So you're going to help me search after all. That's the lab mem spirit. Oh, no, that's not it. I was thinking about buying lunch. Uh, 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 <laughs> no one wants to help me. I'll be alone forever. Ah! <laughs> Uh, she really is a glutton. It's not even lunchtime yet. So where do you plan to go? Sanbo's beef bowl sounds good, but Sambo isn't open this er. I try to warn her, but Mayuri is no longer there. She's gone. Mayuri disappears like this every so often, and each time she does, I wonder for one terrible second if she really has vanished from the world. I look around and see Mayuri standing at a distance. She's gazing up at the sky through the buildings. Here we go again. She stopped in the middle of the street, so other pedestrians look at her, wondering what she's doing. But she doesn't notice their stares. She slowly reaches out to the sky, as if entranced. And then she freezes in that position. This is one of Mayuri's habits. I call it Stardust Handshake. Mayuri says that she's liked looking at the night sky ever since she was little. Her reason is romantic, or perhaps childish. I feel like I can reach the stars. When I asked her about it one day, she just smiled and gave that answer. At first, she only reached out to the night sky, but lately, she's been doing it without regard to the time of day. Like now, something inside her just seems to switch on. Honestly, it's a little crazy. It's too early for stars, Mayuri. Does Okabe not realize that the sun is technically a star? I'll let someone else tell him. <laughs> I walk up to Mayuri and call out to her. She slowly lowers her hand with a blank smile on her face. Did you know, even during the day, the stars are still up there? Getting philosophical is nice and all, but it's dangerous to stop in the middle of the street. <laughs> that's true. Oh, just now, when I was looking at the stars, I decided to have ramen for lunch today. How are ramen and stars even related? Mayuri's mind works in mysterious ways. Oh, we getting freaky! <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this is bad as I can't help but be restless every time my mind. Oh wait, no, this is this is uh, this is Kurosu's th thoughts. Um, I can't help but be restless every time my mind almost settles. It's filled with thoughts of the curious microwave experiments at the Future Gadget Laboratory. I'm a scientist. It's only natural I'd get uneasy when I'm presented with a question that doesn't have an answer. Though I suppose there's no use in thinking about it here. Right, the laundry. I should probably take care of that. I know I said I'd search for the IBN 5100, but I have no idea where to start. I know Daru's well acquainted with retro PCs, but is there anyone else? Oh yeah, Shining Finger was obsessed with the IBN 5100, wasn't she? I'm really reluctant to contact the male demon though. But ultimately my feelings are trivial. Ragnarok hangs in the balance.
I don't know Shining Finger's phone number, so I'll just send her an email for the time being. And then comes an email. It's from Shining Finger. Thanks for the email! I've been waiting. I don't like talking on the phone, so let's exchange emails instead. Oh, oops, I- he said something, but I skipped. But I asked her to call, so why did she reply by email? Wait, she wants it by email? There's a lot to cover. I'd rather not have to type it all out. I need to find out her phone number. Give me your phone number along with any information you have on the IBN 5100 and send. I look up after finishing my email to see a crowd of people in front of Radikin. I guess people are still curious. Of course, the satellite is still there. Not 30 seconds pass before I get a reply. Ah, well if it isn't my assistant, what are you doing here? You know, I always- I always- I like- I'm so like- Cause I watch the dub and the sub of Steins Gate, it depends what mood I am in- I'm in. And it kinda f throws me off. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> when did I become- Hey, when did I become your assistant? She looks like she'll snap at me, so to dampen her spirit, I go back to checking my email. I told her to tell me her phone number and she just ignored me. Let's both do our best. I don't have anything. How about you, Moika? And she doesn't even have any information. How useless can you be? Why are you glaring at me? Don't worry about it. You're not the cause of my frustration. Oh, so you're just raging. Don't glare at me. You've glared at me before, haven't you? That's because you keep doing pervy. Aw, uh, no, I'm not saying anything. Another one. Tell me the super hacker's address. I want to snap my phone in half and throw it on the ground. What do you mean, tell me the super hacker's address? Are you making fun of me with that? You're not getting anything from me. Are the emails you're getting really that unpleasant? They're more unreasonable than unpleasant. I can't quite describe it in one word. Stop sending me all these short emails, I'm begging you. Just gather your thoughts and send everything together. I feel a little satisfied after sending that email. So, Christina, what brings you here? If you're gonna call me names, could you at least be consistent? Anyway, my business here doesn't concern you. Why? Are you pouting? I'm not pouting, I just don't want to get involved in your silly games again. Nonsense, you're already a lab mem. You have a duty to work for the benefit of the lab. Just imagine like, just imagine though, just imagine though, some guy comes up to you, it tells you that you once were dead, and then forces you to become a member of his l uh, future gadget laboratory. Does sounds a little cr- Anyway, nonsense, you're already a lab mem. You have a duty to work for the benefit of the lab. Uh, I regret losing myself to curiosity back then. Did you come to see the satellite? I guess. It doesn't make sense. Normally, they calculate satellites' orbits so that they can burn up in the atmosphere when they fall. So how can that thing be in such perfect condition? Where's this satellite from, anyway? They still don't know. Rumor says it's from the former Soviet Union, but Russia denies it, so it looks like they can't remove it yet. Three days have passed, and it's still unknown. How interesting. <laughs> Just the funny-looking characters on the trash cans. That's Japan for you. Three days have passed and it's still unknown. How interesting. I smell a conspiracy. So it's another organization cover-up. They knew I'd be at Radiken and tried to erase me. Organization? What's that? I don't know why I'm just... The organization is the organization. Its formal name is something else, but all those who know of its existence call it the organization out of fear. They rule the world from the shadows, transcending nations with politics, economics, religion, even science in their clutches. Let's talk, what's your favorite anime? Steins Gate. <laughs> what's my favorite anime? It is Steins Gate, believe it or not. <laughs> That's obviously a crackpot conspiracy theory. Thank you very much. <gasps> What's wrong? N nothing really, nothing, okay? Say another word and I hit you, crazy girl. Uh Anyway, what's happened with the phone wave? I thought you didn't want to get involved. And it's not the phone wave, it's the phone wave and name subject to change. Just answer me, have you learned anything? 
no progress. We've tried repeating the experiment, but at present, we haven't been able to reproduce the discharge phenomenon or send another email to the past. I see. Another email. Damn you, Shining Finger. I said not to send so many short emails, but she doesn't seem to get it. I can't handle this male demon. Are you mad at me? Sorry for being pushy, but I really need info on the IBN 5100. You're the only lead I have, Okabe-kun. That's why I pestered you so much. I promise I won't send you online messages anymore. Hmm, looks like she's a rethinking things. Hopefully, I don't have to worry about any more email assaults. Hello, can you put your phone away when you're talking with someone? Don't be like that. Rather, you should praise me, for I have taught a foul male demon to behave like a civilized human being. Why are you so pompous? I'd ask you the same thing, Christina. Hmm. Okay, let's send a reply. Apology accepted. I'm looking for an IBN 5102. I agree that we should exchange information. I'll let you know when I have something. You don't need to reply to this email. I type that out and send it. Are you done with your little mail exchange, Yoin san Oh, so you remember my true name. Indeed, I am Yoin Kyoma! I was being facetious. How is that facetious? You called me by my correct name. You made no mistake. You'll make a good assistant. Okabe-san, have you sought professional help? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's, okay. Again, I just- Again, if you guys, like, don't know much about Steins Gate, never read the visual novel yourself, or play- or watch the anime, you can either watch my series to enjoy it, you can watch the anime to enjoy it. It is amazing. Uh, though it is confusing at first, you trust me, people get really confused while watching it. But that's the whole point of it, okay? You're meant to be confused while watching it, because you gotta- Like, if they're trying to put you in the eyes of Okabe, and you ha be just as confused as he is. So, anyway. Okabe-san, have you sought professional help? I am not Okabe. This is exhausting. An awkward silence hung in the air until Kurasu suddenly asked if there were any coin laundries nearby. It seems she has some- some clothes that need cleaning. Hoping that it would buy me leverage in the future, I escort her to the coin laundry I frequent. So about the phone wave, name subject to change. Well, I think Okabe is washing his own clothes, so I think, you know, whatever. Nice, Golden. After the experiment, you screamed something like, a time machine? It can't be. Did something awaken a past trauma? No, and don't go making one up either. Back when she was five years old, Christina was on the plains of Ar Arkansas when lightning- <laughs> I wasn't hit by lightning and I was still living in Japan when I was five. And why Arkansas? I was trying to imagine a, a tranquil scenery and the first state to come to mind was Arkansas. Second was Oregon. Oregon. Not Utah. I mean, relatively speaking, isn't Utah more suitable? Then answer me, Christina. Why did you freak out back then? N no reason. I simply didn't want to believe. Fringe science should stay in the realm of fiction. Fringe science, don't be ridiculous. You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the email leap to the past. You saw the banana travel instantly through space. I saw, but we must be missing something. Or maybe we're just seeing what we want to see. Remember what I said at ATF? Time machines are just a pipe dream given modern technology. And yet, a bunch of amateurs like you just stick a phone and a microwave together and expect time travel to occur? Ridiculous! But it did occur. Will you deny what you saw with your own eyes? Are you saying that theories trump reality? Then I hope you enjoy <laughs> sophistry in word games because that's all you'll ever have. What do you mean, word games? Quantum theory, for example. If you ask me, theories like that are nothing but word games. Wait, are you rejecting modern physics? Who do you think you are? Trust what you see. The only things that matter are things that happen. Things that don't happen, things that aren't observed, are just hypothesis. When hypotheses pile up, and theories are verified, they become reality. That's how modern physics comes to understand the truth of the universe. But sometimes your hypotheses are mistaken. Even Einstein was wrong about some things. So you're gonna do nothing just because you could be wrong? Then enjoy your dirty little lab and your silly gadgets because that's all you'll ever have. 
You'll never reach the truth that way. Failure teaches success. I see. Nice rebuttal. You're never getting off your high horse, are you? By the way, Christina, I have always felt that physicists are hypocrites. What? There are phenomenon that everyone knows occur in reality, but which physicists refuse to research. What do you think about that? I don't know what to say unless you can give me some examples. Ghosts, for instance. The occult, really? You refuse to research it just because it's the occult? That contradicts what you just said. You'll never reach the truth that way. People have seen ghosts. There is even photographic evidence. Evidence. So, where are the theories? Why do physicists refuse to speak? It's a different field of study. You can't call physics the study of natural phenomenon, then decide some things don't count. True, but... And that's why we must investigate the phenomenon of sending emails to the past. You shall assist me. No. So the genius girl really does hate me. I won't have a hand in your fringe science. I won't make the same mistake my father did. Your father? You make a fine argument, but it won't work in the scientific community. The day you decide to research time travel is the day you're out of a job. How can you be so certain? Because that's what happened to my father. Ew. I think Kursu has daddy issues. Um, don't worry, Kursu. I could be your daddy. That's what Daru would say. Though my my waifu of Steins Gate will always be my Uri. Has been for three years? How long? When did I watch Steins Gate originally, actually? I'm trying to think of when I first watched it. 2017? Maybe, maybe sooner than that. 2050? I don't remember. My father, a physicist, loved time machines. He was so fascinated by Wells, the time machine, that he seriously studied time travel. But because of his obsession, he was proud practically exiled from the scientific community. I will never get involved with time travel research. This time, her sheer force of will gives me pause. But what should I say? I'm sorry, I got emotional. She apologizes first. Christina's calm character saves me. Don't worry, bitch, I pissed you off on per- Mwah! <laughs> Ah, don't worry about it. I wanted to test your character, so I made you angry on purpose. Huh? Anyway, the phone wave isn't a time machine. Email is a man-made system, so this phenomenon should be explainable in the scope of that system. I understand. I had no idea you hate time machines that much. It's almost like an allergy. I apologize for forcing you to become a lab mem. You don't have to come again. I wasn't planning on it. But know this, Christina. Don't call me Christina. Lab mem number 004 will be a retired number. That number is yours forever. You look ridiculous. He tried to make an epic escape just to be brought back to the brink of madness. I'm suddenly pulled from behind. What are you doing? You've ruined my perfectly staged exit scene and you call yourself my assistant. No, I don't call myself your assistant. And besides, I still have something to ask you. I asked you about this before, but you said I got stabbed, right? I demand an explanation. Ah uh, yes, the other real life phenomenon. That has yet to be explained. That was just something I hallucinated. Let's just leave it at that for now. Why would you dream about me? I don't know, and it wasn't a dream, it was a hallucination. You said something about Dr. Nakabashi, didn't you? Dr. Nakabachi held a time machine presentation at Radikin that day. That presentation was cancelled because of the satellite crash. So it seems, but in my hallucination, the presentation proceeded as planned. My Yuri and I went to see it, and you came over to flirt with me. I don't flirt, especially not with idiots like you. Like I said, it wasn't real, okay? No, maybe this world is what isn't real. That would explain the riddle of the phone wave, name subject to change. If this world is some kind of simulation, then we can disregard the laws of physics. Escapism, that's unexpectedly chicken of you. It's a hypothesis, your favorite thing. So who stabbed me? Don't tell me it was you. I recall the sight of Kurisu collapsed in a puddle of blood. It sends shivers down my spine. Was that really just a hallucination? It was too real. I can clearly remember the smell of blood. You were already dead when I got there. I didn't see who did it. I don't get it. Why do I have to die in your mind? You have something against me? Of course not. At that point in time, we had only spoken once. We were just strangers. Well, that one time we talked was during the events I imagined. So strictly speaking, at that point in time, all I knew about her was what I'd read in the magazine. Anyway, we didn't know each other 
brother. That's why I ran away instead of calling for an ambulance. My hero. What? You want me to go back in time and give you CPR or something? I need to use the phone wave name subject to change for that. Though I suppose I need to figure out how to return that hallucination first. I've heard enough. No more hallucinating about me, okay? Dying isn't fun, even if it's in someone else's head. I can't make any guarantees. That would require perfect 24-hour surveillance inside my brain. You have a comeback for everything, don't you? Looks like she wants to end the conversation. Yeah, what now? I'm not done talking. You trying to pick a fight? It's revenge for ruining my farewell scene, Christina. You shall regret your thoughtless actions. Okay, okay, fine. What is it? About the IBN 5100. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah. Uh. If you don't know, then forget about it. Farewell. We will not meet again. Hey, don't tell me to forget about it. What is the IBN 5 whatever? The IBN 5100. It's a retro PC from 1975. I'm looking for one. Yeah, what are you going to do with it? Looks like she's interested. She was the same way when she came to the lab. I guess this girl is just brimming with curiosity. Interested? You're interested, aren't you? Just a little. Then I shall answer. The IBN 5100 is the key to unlocking CERN's most closely guarded secrets. CERN? You mean THE CERN? Indeed. Through the tireless efforts of my faithful lab mem, we have uncovered evidence that CERN is researching time travel. Come, be astonished. Great. I shouldn't have asked. Damn you! Just you watch. I will expose certain secrets if it's the last thing I do. All right. The next day, I went to the radio center in search of the IBN 5100. I scoured every last parts store I could, suffering the cold stares of shopkeepers who knew I wouldn't buy anything, but yielded no results. After walking around for a while, my stomach started to growl, which reminded me that I hadn't eaten anything since this morning. It was time to refuel at Sanbo. Hmm. As I wolfed down my beef bowl, I tried to think of every place where the IBN 5100 could be, but nothing came to mind. My phone's ringtone draws a sharp look from the madam. I pretend not to notice her withering glance and... It's me. What's up? Tuturu! My Yushi here! I thought I told you not to contact me on this line. It could be tapped. Huh? What? I'm telling you not to be so careless. Anyway, give me a sit rep. A what? Um, Ocarine, Mayushi doesn't know what that means. I'm asking why you're calling. Why didn't you just say that? Um, what are you doing now? Executing the mission. Uh, well, why didn't you say so? Mayushi heard something amazing just now. Wanna hear? If it's valuable information, then by all means. Um, it's about the IBN 5100. You mean you have a lead? And you got it at May Queen, you say? How could I have overlooked it? What have I done? Well then, come to May Queen. I'll be waiting. Hey, tell me over the phone. Hey, Mayuri! Why do I have to go all the way to May Queen? Not wanting to waste a moment in acquiring my Yushi's info, I slap my money down on the table and take off for May Queen. I complain, but it's less than a 10 minute walk. Oh, I got a new text. Okay. Oh, I just recently got my first cellular phone recently. When I arrived in Tokyo a few days ago, I didn't even know how to ride the train, so I just bought a bike instead. <laughs> Imagine, like, oh, I don't know how to get on a train. Let's buy a bike. Yeah. All right, let's see. It's from Suzaha. Should I reply recently? I can't believe there are still people our age who's never used a cell phone. How to, how to ride the train. That has to be a joke. You're trolling me, aren't you? And then bike? You must be pretty fit. Guys, okay, what answer should I pick? Should I pick the I can't believe there are people who don't- Should I be surprised she doesn't know how to ride the train? Should I be surprised she doesn't know how to ride a bike? Or should I be, uh, <laughs> well, not ride a bike. She doesn't have a phone, doesn't know how to ride the train, or should I compliment her body? Now, one of these things just doesn't seem like the other. Um, guys, what should I pick? That's the great thing about live streaming. You guys can help me decide, motherfuckers. You can help me decide, motherfuckers. Help me decide, please, motherfucker. You must be pretty fit. There, that should do it. Mail sent.
There's a handwritten sign outside of May Queen that says the first Rynet Battle Cup. There's a handwritten sign outside of May Queen that says the first Rynet Battle Cup. Oh shit, I remember this. Still puzzling over what that means, I enter the cafe only to be greeted by a very unusual atmosphere. Oh, Green! My Yushi was thinking of the IBN 5100 doing, during work, so I asked the other girls if they knew anything. First I asked Maki-chan, but Maki-chan said she's not good with computers. And then there's Lisa Lisa-chan, but she only knows about the latest PCs and she's actually a Mac head. Just get to the point. I don't really care how much trouble you went through. Hmm? Um, well, I think Ferris Chan knows. W what Is that true? Yep. Did you know she's a retro PC maniac? Ferris? Ah, the bright lights! It hurts my eyes! Ah! I'm melting! I'm melting! <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, that girl is seriously hardcore. I'd prefer not to talk to her if I could avoid it. But I'm really desperate for information. It's me. Looks like we've got a lead on the IBN 5100. Are you ready for this? It's Ferris Nyan Nyan. It turns out that cat girl's an expert on retro PCs. There's probably another side to this. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Hmm. I suppose I'm the only man for the job. Very well, I'll make the approach. If you don't hear from me by 2,000 hours tonight, then forget about me and commence the strike on May Queen. Everything is the choice of Steinsgate. El Sai Kangaroo. I put away the phone to search the place for Ferris, but she finds me first. Nya nya, it's Kyoma. Gonna join too? Today's the Ferris Cup, nya. It doesn't seem like Ferris is going to explain what that means. Nevertheless, it's plain to see that things are very different in here today. No, seriously, what's the Ferris Cup? A pot a pot contest with Ferris, nya. Ferris goes at it with everyone at the same time, nya. A reward goes to those Ferris finds worthy, nya. I gulp and look at Ferris hard. Ferris, are you serious? Going at it with all these men at the same time, she's insane. That's what she said. Save Ferris's fur, Kyoma. I refuse. Nya nya. I didn't come to fight, I only came to talk to you. If you're not gonna play, then I'm sorry, but I'll have to ask you to leave, nya. What's this? A maid sending a customer away? Ferris is the organizer of the Ferris Cup today. Only participants are allowed inside the shop, nya. I only need two minutes to the IBN. Not listening, Nyan. If you want to talk to Ferris, you have no choice but to join the Ferris Cup, Nyan. No, that's just a low. So what'll it be, Nyan? You can't survive unless you fight with your own paws, Nyan. Ugh. Use any method to obtain information. That's my current mission. I have to do it, no matter what lies ahead. There's no choice. I accept your challenge, but on one condition. If I face you, you'll tell me everything you know. He's so extra, and I love it. <laughs> Is that the correct use of the word? Extra? Yeah, yeah. Well, fine by me, yeah. A uh, new message. Uh, Lukako. Please let me think. I'd be happy to cook, but I'm afraid it might interfere with my shrine duties. Do you mind if I take some time to think about it? P.S. I was so deep in thought, I didn't do any practicing with Samadair. Shrine duties. It's from Lukako. Should I reply? Shrine duties. Your true class is Miko. You must not forget that. Devote yourself to that for now. Of course, that includes practice wings with Samadair. Uh, think it over. I was joking. Besides, if you wore a maid outfit at the lab, Daru would probably start hyperventilating. And well, it wouldn't be pretty. Forget about it. Okay, guys, which answer should we go with? I'm not. I'm done. I quit. I quit, guys. I quit. Uh, think, think it over. Enter. There, that should do it. <laughs> Mess, mail sent. This is now a war zone, lured by the promise of information. I challenge Ferris, stepping over the countless corpses and into the arena for our de decisive battle. Daru, allow me to show you how a true man fights. Don't tell me you've got a plan. Hmm. Indeed I do. Let's just call this Operation Sweet Side. A loud O echoes, echoes, echoes? Deku from My Hero Academia. A loud O echoes from all around me. So Kyoma thinks he's up to par, yeah? The tears of the fallen 20 shall not be in vain. 
Do you remember our promise, Ferris? Once this match is over, you'll tell me everything you know. Amazing, that crazy bastard actually means to win. Go for it, Ocarine. They place their hopes on me. I slowly step up to the table. Five minutes, that all it will take to decide the match. Okay, round three, starting, yeah. Rhinet Access Battlers, Dual Access. Is this Yu-Gi-Oh? Dual Disc, activate. I choose you, Pikachu. I don't. I give up. <laughs> You're weak, too weak. Obviously, I've never played Rhinet Access Battlers before. There's no way I can win if I don't even know the rules. My Yushi's disappointed. So it was all a bluff. What happened to Operation Sweet Side? It was almost like Kyoma committed suicide, and yeah. Wait, don't tell me. <laughs> yes, it's exactly like. <laughs> it's exactly what you're thinking. Operation Sweet Side was a suicide attack. That's gotta be the worst pun ever. But why are you so proud even though I made kitty litter out of you, nya? <laughs> Have you not figured it out, Ferris Nyan Nyan? Win or lose, it made no difference. What's that supposed to mean, nya? Do you remember the conditions I set? If Ferris lost, then she'd tell you everything. No, you are wrong, Ferris. What I said was, If I face you, you'll tell me everything you know. If I face you, now do you understand? I never needed to win. No one else could have pulled it off. These fools were lured here by the prospect of Ferris's home cooking. They were obsessed with winning. But not I. Your home cooking meant nothing to me. That difference in motivation is what allowed this suicide mission to succeed. <laughs> anyway, just the just I, wow, Ocarine, you're amazing. That's dirty. I think you mean fiendishly clever. Behold the success of Operation Sweet Side. I don't now, Ferris. Answer me. Where is the IBN fifty one hundred? Yeah, the IBN 5100. Don't play dumb, I have a reliable source. I remember that image of the IBN 5100 Shining Finger sent me. I bring it up on my phone and show it to Ferris. I know that you have information on the IBN 5100. Yeah, how do you expect me to remember that, yeah? Though I think I've seen this computer before. What? I thought you were an expert on retro PCs. Mayuri told me so. Uh, you leaked your source. Yup, Mayushi's a reliable source. I'm not an expert, yeah. Papa collected them, so we've got a ton at home. That's all. So that must be where the IBN 5100 is sealed. Take me there at once! I can't, yeah. What? Why? Because that's the Ferris Clan sanctuary. The Ferris Clan? The only ones who may enter are the Ferris Clan's cattier daughters. Those who pursue the knowledge of the Meow Miku. Miko. Miku. M in other words, it's paws off to everyone but Ferris, Yeah, Try to force your way in and you'll grow dog ears, Yeah, Like hell I will. Dog ears. Yeah, right. Uh... It's true, Nya. Ferris doesn't tell tall tales, Nya. <laughs> no. Instantly, the air is charged with malice. I find myself surrounded by 27 Ferris fans, each glaring at me with bloodshot eyes. You coward. You've converted your believers into your personal army. Ferris is only telling the truth, Nya. What do I do? Gwa. No, n not now. It's too soon. My right hand trembles. <laughs> It's funny, it's funny. It's like watching two wackos, like, beat each other with a stick. <laughs> That's what, like, watching Ferris and Okabe talk is like. Like, just two giant fucking things, bat like, a stick versus stick. Anyway. No, don't tell me. Is the anti rynet system activating? I warned you playing Rynet could kill you. What? Where did that come from? I ignore Ferris and stagger towards the exit. Her worshippers let me pass. It feels as if everyone is giving me cold stares, but I don't have the time to check and make sure. I throw myself out the door and into open air. Damn. Empty handed. The throbbing in my right arm settles as soon as I leave the cafe. I guess I'll ask Daru or Mayuri about Ferris some other day. Oh, Karin! What happened? Is the Ferris Cup already over? Nope. 
Well, just about. After this, the customers get to chat with Ferris Chan. I wanted to tell you about the IBN 5100 thing. I showed Ferris Chan the picture again. Good work, Mayuri. Completely different from a certain useless super hacker, so? Ferris Chan said it was probably around the time she was in elementary school. On a cold autumn day, while Ferris Chan was shivering from the cold, her butler, Kuroki san, came to help. I don't care about her butler, just get to the point. So basically, she ended up donating one of her dad's computers to a shrine. She says it looked just like the one you're looking for. Donated it? To a shrine? That's an unexpected combination. Which shrine? Dunno. Where could it be? You didn't ask her? Whatever. It's a lead. The only shrines in Akiba are Kondo Myojin and Yanabayashi Shrine. I don't know if Ferris was living in Akiba at the time, but at least it's a start. Good work, Mayuri. Continue your espionage mission. Espion... Hodge? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, so I think that is where I'm gonna end this recording slash live stream because I'm hungry and tired. So I'm gonna eat and take a nap because I was up late last night. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode of Steins Gate Elite, please let me know by leaving a comment down below of what you thought. If you're on the live stream, I'm talking about on the video, not on the live stream itself, because I'm going to be privating that, so. But anyway, also, if you'd like to be notified of when I post more videos, or maybe when I live stream this again, either join the Discord down below, or hit the subscribe button with the bell icon ticked. What's the, what's the anime called again? Steins Gate. But anyway, my name is Zora, and I hope you stay fabulous. Thank you so very much for watching the video. Before I roll the end card, though, I'd like to give a quick shout out and thank you to some of my beautiful patrons. Thank you to Siphios, Cruxhuff33, Deadman2112, Gerardo Maley, Henry Kalhoff, Omero Aguilar. He hasn't said anything about if I'm mispronouncing it or not, so hopefully. <laughs> Jerry Sparks, Jesse Kimmel, Joe underscore Grizzly 19, Jaunty Joe Star, Lachlan, Matt Eason, Randy Adair, Roy, Sir Knight Ben, Spaghetti O Dick, Sterling Scott, and of course, Vic Boy Hobo. Seriously, you do not know how grateful I am to all of you. You are all beautiful. Mwah, I love you all. But anyway, let's roll the end card. What's up, guys? Carrie here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, check out our previous video here. Or, if you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon here. There's also a video that was picked up by YouTube just for you. And lastly, you can click here to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace off!